Did I find all the secrets? Probably not. Do I have a call from Big Boomba? I do. And I'd suggest if you're a new listener or viewer, get on Skype hey. and call in and just say hi. It's great when it's brief. <coughs> it also sometimes just spins out of control, like it may with Boomba here. How you doing, big boy? Uh, hey, how you doing, Garrett? How's it going? Uh, it's going about as good as it can. How you doing, big wow. Boomba? I don't have Rocco here today to play that, but maybe I'll just kind of repurpose it on you. <laughs> hey, My it's hair's cool, doing man. Some it's cool to see getting the uh, the old Doom games getting a little love. I actually went and played through one and two about a month ago. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a great. It's, uh, uh, this is the PS3 uh, Doom 3 BFG edition, and it comes with, as you saw at the title screen, Doom 2, yeah. Doom 1. It's it's uh, you can get this thing cheap now. It's a great uh, pickup. Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, that's what I was actually playing it on. I got it on Steam, and I hadn't I hadn't played Excuse Doom me. one or two since I was probably eight or nine when like my parents didn't know I had it. You know, they're all pissed. But uh, it, I totally under forgot the how table. good the music is. I totally forgot it was like just like metal MIDI. It was such a yeah, great dude. fucking throwback. Oh, the music's the music's fabulous. I was I was thinking about getting into a little here while I got the keyboard out. Oh hell yeah! Uh, it's more of a. No. More of a synth. No, it's more of a keyboard. Harpsichord. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of. Keep going. It's always hard. Yeah, anyway. I did have a question for you, because I recently pulled out my PS3, because I forgot I had the uh, Metal Gear Solid Legacy collection, and I was like, you know what? I need to finally just plow through all this. Uh, I finished uh, Snake Eater about two, three weeks ago, uh, and I'm doing Peace Walker now. And... I guess, I don't know if it's because I have the HD edition, but did Peace Walker seem kind of easy to you? Um... Like, not in a bad way, it's just like... It, not I don't really. Know if it's just it was a departure okay. from the previous game type, because it was all kind of mission-based, and then you would go out with a specific loadout for what the task had at hand. Really a precursor to the yeah. Phantom Pain, but... Oh, I, exactly. Like, I, I, I played liked a bit it a of lot. And I didn't, oh, yeah. think, I didn't think it was too easy. I mean, I would still get spotted a lot. Um, you definitely learn pretty quick, like, throw on my night vision goggles so I can spot some snipers in the, you know, waiting in the wings. It was easier yeah. because it wasn't open-ended. It was usually a narrow path, you know, kind of a yeah, twisted, exactly. no pun intended, snaking <laughs> path. Ah. <laughs> This cough yeah. is fucking killing me. I'm gonna hit the cough button. Damn. Ah, oh, man, sounds like you gotta get yourself a humidifier, man. So, but, yeah, like, I've I've had a really good time with it. Like, Peace Walker, I, I'm loving it. I love, like, the, the graphic novel presentation Excuse of me. it. The music's good. Oh, you're good, man. Yeah. I'm out of breath. Man. Oh, shit. Mm. Uh -oh. I, I absolutely, I really say, I love the part with uh, building like Mother Base and everything like that. I absolutely oh, love yeah. like just ultimating everybody out of every level and just like building the base. Um, but that was the one thing I noticed is like, I don't know if it was just because it was designed on PSP. Like every time I'd sneak around a corner, I'm like, oh, there's a guy headshot with the yeah. tranquilizer. And you know, you'd learn um, later on in the game, it's all about just fighting fucking helicopters and tank units and stuff, yeah. you know? So like, yeah, I, I would learn. I just those techniques of hiding around certain barricades in the level where you always knew like in the train depot hide behind certain trains inside that one building oh, yeah. jump out I, I, shoot your missiles it's like repetitive you call in air support it, it in that respect it just kind of like that got daunting a lot easier with oh, yeah. co-op and that's kind of what that game was made for when you could get in a room with your friend me Rocco and Mariel had some of the best times and we only did it a f handful but being in the same room, all playing, like, together, uh, it was great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't have anybody, uh, and, like, all my friends have sold their PS3, so I was like, well, good timing, because it'd be cool to do some co-op. Why would you <laughs> sell the PS3? The, 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 yeah, exactly. It's, the most versatile it, of uh, PlayStation consoles. So, I mean, if you got the old school one, you can still play PS1, PS2 games on it. Yeah, I got the Slim, so I can't do the PS1. I'm or, using I mean, a I Slim right one, now. I love yeah, this system hey, so much, I bought a second one. Just, I, I got a exactly. refurbish Slim. I sold mine, my original one, probably three oh. years ago, and I bought this one last year. 
And I was like, why did I ever sell this? There's so many amazing games on PS3. Like There's it was just to a come great... back to. And I always like coming back to my titles. I, I really try not to sell games for that reason, because I always regret it, and I'll end up coming yeah. back to it and playing. Like I haven't picked this up in years, but I wouldn't fucking turn it into GameStop for four bucks. Oh, exactly. It's like hang on to it, man. You'll want to play it again someday. I don't like, know what it's like to be. Like... You know, right now I'm not that struggling youth where every paycheck <laughs> is the last and uh i'm barely covering the electric bill i get that, I I, that i've been there <laughs> i'm glad i'm not there anymore what a fun time that was what a carefree oh yeah that's that's why you donate plasma who gives a shit oh yeah yeah you figure <laughs> out like how how can you get paid for donating sperm this is amazing you know yeah. And then yeah, you I'd get denied I'd, I'd, I'd because you're like talk. 22 and they want someone with a PhD and some type of <laughs> medical background or... And you have to be the certain height, certain yeah. hair color, yeah, very specific shit. My good looks My only got me so far. Yep, same <clears> and here. they didn't get me into only that copies. sperm donation bed. Bed? Do you think they give you a bed? I bet it's a gurney. Or some kind of I... couch? Oh. I'm going reckless. I would think it'd be a couch or like a love seat. I would hope. I'm yeah, going it in gotta reckless. be. Or maybe even a sumo. God, what a comfortable jerk off session you could oh. have in a sumo. Oh, sumo jerk off sultan? Is Absolutely. there anyone jacking off to this right now? Uh, you should be if you're sitting in a fucking sultan right now. I want to go home right? and just check that out. I still need to get one of those someday. It's been a while since I laid in one of my sumos. The Omni would be great because it's uh, it's got that kind of um, washable outer shell. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like they really planned ahead for that. You yeah, know? no muss, no fuss kind of thing. Well, you know they exactly. they don't talk about it. I will, but uh, the guy that runs Sumo has like a subsidiary side of that Sumo business. That's um, I think like uh, it's under a different name, but it's like sexual position love sex. That are like really? like triangles and wedges and um, yeah, it's fucking awesome. I wish he would send us some of those to try out. No kidding. I mean, yeah, get a little back in the day, though. you know, we got the sumo sponsorship. We made that friendship back when we were young bucks in the old studio, sitting around the campfire. <coughs> oh, another cough. That just rattles oh. my vocal cords. Oh god. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get. Uh, what do they call that? That all the singers have that node. I'm gonna get a, a oh, node, or a polyp, a nodule. I'm gonna get a vocal yeah, cord nodule. I need radio. I need, I need to maintain vocal silence until my performance of the PPS number 178 next week. I should have yeah, done are that. Gonna, are the people are gonna be disappointed? I should have done that in this voice. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I need to maintain radio silence for the neck radio. Like I'm at home and work on the radio. You fucked it up. Doesn't matter. Who, who gives a fuck, man? Who gives a it's shit? cool. Who gives a fuck? Live fast, not young. Well, Modules. anyway, um, so you uh, you had some experience with this old Doom back in the day? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. My uh, my uncle used to make computers like way back in the day when cool that was like uncle. kind of like a oh, yeah, like the cool uncle. Hell yeah, Eric had yeah. a cool uncle. He used to go into the garage, kind of smelled funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm wouldn't was your cool uncle out in the back, you know, wiring computers together, maybe making the garage smell a little funny? Oh, I, I would be willing to bet. He lived out on a, like a ranch where nobody was oh, in hell yeah. Oklahoma, and so I wouldn't Dude, be surprised if it's the ultimate funny. freedom, Absolutely. isolation. Right? Oh yeah, exactly. There's so, no, there's yeah. no laws, there's no rules if there's no one around. It's not illegal That's if no right. one sees you do it. It's like yeah, it's like if a tree falls, does anybody hear it? True. Does anybody That's true. Care? Yeah, so nobody cares. So that's the real thing. You're but, smart, man. I'm yeah. glad you called in. Go ahead, Boomba. Oh, yeah, no worries. Uh, this is the biggest one ever. And for Christmas for me, and just sent it to me, and he's like, hey, don't tell your parents, but I sent you, like, four discs with, like, all these mini games. Because, like, you used to be able to, like, you know, like, 3D Realms or Apogee Software, you used to yeah. be able to, like, send a check to them, and they'd mail you a disc. Um, oh, yeah. Like, all the DOS games and shit. And so he gave me all those. It was, like, 400 games. And on there was Doom, and my parents were like, "Video games are the devil. You can't play these." And parents so just don't understand. Like, yeah, I was like, "Hey, look, this isn't real." Pinky. I'm, I'm ten, and I get this isn't real. It's not real. But 
so yeah, I played Doom all the time, and eventually my parents found out because one of my friends ratted me out to uh, them. Couldn't just keep his mouth shut just... and play co-op with I them. know! I was like, what? What is it? What is it? Hurt? Who has it hurting you? What a dick. He's what jealous. Hurting you is you're not coming back over. That's a jealous uh, beta move, I'm going to say. Yeah, it's a, it's a dick move. It's a fucking dick move. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. He did, well, he wasn't invited to my birthday that year, so it's okay. Oh. It all, uh, What's his name? So, hey. Put him on blast. George, you know, it's funny. There is actually someone in the Twitch chat that is the exact same name. His Jordan name is Jordan Jones. Jones. It's Jordan, Jordan Jones. fucking Jones. Holy shit. It's probably Synergy. Yep. That cocksucker is in the chat right now. It's probably your friend oh from God. high school. Or if, you, if you're from Texas, you Jesus. ratted me out, and my parents broke my Doom game because of you. How old if were you not, when this was going on? Like, is this junior oh, high or, or high? No, no, it's before that. I think I was either 9 or 10. Yeah, I, I'm trying to place myself, but it must have been... God, it must have been junior high when I first came across it. Yeah. And so I was, I was, what I they was call a middle school now. Uh oh, I'm outside and just walking around, and not looking at these. What are the What are the ones called that uh, make the noise and they shoot the fireballs? Uh, are those the uh, the imps? Imps. Yeah, I like their. Yeah. It's like a oh, okay. croak. The yeah, best it thing. Is kind of a croak. Sorry, the it's best thing croak. about playing this. Uh, with uh, the volume up, usually I'll, I'll play with headphones on, like when I was playing on the iPad, which I really like yeah. the, the touchscreen controls. Um, but playing with headphones, man, you really fucking hear when enemies are around you. So you know oh, like, yeah. if you've cleared an area, whether to be on guard, whether or not to get blown up by a fucking barrel. Exactly. The the place that it actually gets kind of stressful is like when you're when you're fighting the invisible guys. Yeah. Like those... later on in the other levels, and you'll hear them, and you're like, "Where the Where's, fuck are these where guys? Where are all I these don't... pinkies that are like down in some pit that I'm gonna get warped into on accident?" This game was exactly. good with jump scares too, where you teleport oh, yeah. into something that's directly behind you, scratching that horrible fucking scratching noise. Oh yeah. When they're clawing yeah. your back. Oh, how it's, dare they. Oh my gosh. What's really funny is I finally beat... I, well, I thought I couldn't beat the first game. Um, like, my friend and I, we knew all the cheat codes, and we were like 10, so we, you know, we're not very good at this game. And we Put finally got to the very fast, the very last level, where you fight like the two cyber demons, and then you go through the teleporter. Yeah. And I thought, like, I just thought we were doing something wrong. Like, I just thought, like... Because you, no matter what happens, you can't beat that. Like, you kind of sort of die. Yeah. Um, I, gotta, I finished game. the last... Like, I never finished uh, the last chapter of, you know, chapter five or whatever. And I did. Uh -huh. And it gave me this weird ending that I'd never seen before. Maybe you can explain this. Um, I might have seen this. So you're okay. saying, you're saying, like, you beat the first Doom game... And at the end of yes. chapter five, does it take you like to some background where there's like a big building and it's talking about your bunny rabbit? Yeah, yeah. It's like you you get teleported to this place and everybody's instantly fucking your shit up, and yeah. you like drop down to like seven health, and then yeah. all of a sudden it's like, oh, you thought it was over, but it's not. Life sucks. Um, and I looked into it, and I, I thought like that was just like a bad ending. Apparently, what happened in that is that you get tr you think that's the end of the game. And you get transported to the beginning of Doom 2. And your character doesn't actually die. He just gets to the bare minimum health. And that's where Doom 2 starts. So is that the end of the game? Yes, that is the end of the game. It ends on a total so, cliffhanger. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Because what's so, the fucking thing with his bunny rabbit? And the that was that weirded me out. Yeah, like it's like something like stinks like rotten meat with your, I don't know, it's something with your bunny rabbit, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck this is about. But then like, that, uh, I could go back into the menu and choose uh, to play that last, like the true last level over again. It was, it was odd. Uh, damn. Yeah, it's, it's really odd, but. Uh, I'm finding myself for like stuck as we speak. Oh, shit. For 15 years, I thought like I just wasn't good enough to beat it. And then I played it again, and I was like, wait a minute, is that actually the ending? This whole time, I actually beat it, and I, like, thought I hadn't. Yeah, when so. you're a kid, you just, like, will accept, like, oh, I, I guess I'm not, I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's like, I guess, you know, I guess I have to hit puberty to beat this or something. I don't yeah. know. Jesus Christ. Dumb fucking babies so. putting pennies in our mouths being idiots. <laughs> That's right. Um, it happens, My friend though. actually... Oh, yeah. that scratching noise. You guys just heard it. Ugh. In surround sound. Uh, what did I switch oh to God. fucking fists? 
I'm gonna um, punch this asshole. I will say, uh, I can't remember if it's Doom 2. Is it Doom 2 where you get the double barrel shotgun? Yeah, I believe Doom 2 oh. is the uh, first appearance of the old favorite. The all-time oh classic double barrel. Oh yeah, because oh, I I'm never played Doom fucked. 2 as a kid. I just started it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have been missing. This double barrel is so satisfying. It's It's got such a kick. Are it's you going to get the new one? Are you looking forward to Friday? Uh, you know, I am very, I am cautiously optimistic because I think it looks, I think it looks great. It does look good. Uh, it looks like it looks like the same stressful game that it was originally. That it, that um, it is right now for me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you it, there. The, the weird thing is, is it seems like I'm one of the only people that really liked Doom Three. Uh, you know, uh, I liked it, but I mean, I bought it I, twice. I got it on 360, yeah. and I got it on this too. Um, yeah, uh, it wasn't as good as the classic, and I feel like nothing's ever going to be as good as the classic, but this new one, yeah. this new one looks like maybe a return to form where it's just like, get the guns and use them in the combination to take on the fucking enemies that are coming at you. With exactly. a little more it, it, tree, you know, or what do they call it, skill tree, weapon building, it looks like, or it sounds like it's going to have that stuff. I'm just, yeah, exactly. The embargo on reviews is it's, that's a scary thing. You know what I mean? That yeah. Anytime I see where it's like, hey, you like, it's just like with movies. Like when a movie is not screened in advance, that's already a red flag. Is that a Bethesda and thing so, though? Because I, I feel like they've done this shit before. With like, uh, I think I felt like they did it with Wolfenstein: The New Order uh, or it, Old Blood, New Blood, which, which, whichever one. Which it is. those both turned out to be great. Yeah, they turned out to be pretty Ooh, solid. Fucking hell, that was a bad so, hit. I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, it's id software. They don't usually make a bad game. I mean, their worst game is Rage, and that was still a pretty decent or game. Or Dirt, like, or I, Haze, or Rash. Uh, I tell you that's what. Right, right. I had a few names for it. <laughs> One of my... <laughs> many fuck-ups. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, my, my brother-in-law's got a PS4, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Redbox it that day. If I like it, I'll go buy it. Yeah. You know, I Redboxed Ant-Man last night. What am I doing? I'm not even oh, like, how'd it trying go? to play this. Um, it was really good. I, I'm a Rudd fan now. I wasn't much of a right. Rudder. I didn't know much. Was he in Grandma's Boy? Uh, I guess I like that movie. I don't know why I, I like really that movie. I was really when I saw it, so I don't remember. Grandma's Boy is a really, really dumb fucking movie oh, about... It video game developers before it, it, actually, it was popular like you know everyone fucking knows what a video game developer is now but like back in the day like they're making yeah. laura croft jokes oh yeah because at the time it yeah. was relevant oh but, i know and it i remember getting upset watching that 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 game or that movie because i was just like there was one scene i just i mean i was really baked when they did it but i'm watching it but well, i remember it's a, it's, it, a, it's definitely a stoner film as well oh totally um, I just remember them playing like, I just remember them playing a, a Dance Dance Revolution like dance off, and I was like, his feet aren't in sync with the screen. Yeah, it's like, wrong. Did, there's tons of like, shit. Everything you're doing is wrong. There's tons of shit in it that are fucking just straight up wrong. Um, but oh, yeah. it's good. And there's a there's a character who thinks he's a fucking robot and he talks like one the whole fucking time. Oh yeah, the. The Android oh, yeah, guy, exactly. and it's like that's hyper annoying as well. But like, I don't know, oh, my God. I, not hyper annoying. I, that's just a good like B movie, like dumb fucking. There's dumb jokes, but I think they're funny jokes in that movie for whatever reason. Yeah, it's the whole movie. I mean, like <laughs> the whole movie is just like, hey, look, this isn't a good movie, but if you want a forgettable stoner comedy, yeah, you, you can't go. It was better than so. Dead Snow, which was like a zombie stoner comedy that I thought was god awful. Okay, I was, I was I've seen that on my Netflix for a while, and I've been curious about yeah, it, if it was any I good. I mean, I don't know. Some zombie so, well, gi gives a or some chick goes to give a guy a blowjob in an outhouse, and then the zombies get him, and it was just it was just dumb. <laughs> I don't like why why are you getting it a blowjob like in an outhouse. It sounds like it should be a good. Who's going? Who feels like okay oral sex time in the old shit box in the woods? That's not. There's better places. There's way better places. It's location, location, location. Yeah. There, I mean, fucking <laughs> chair. <laughs> yeah, Couch. pretty much. I named two right there. Bed. Oh, let's get fucking <laughs> puritanical. 
Only the, that only the best Puritan blowjobs happened in beds. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody will argue with that. We could go back to the orthodox discussion and we could do it through holes in a sheet even, but not in an outhouse. Yeah, not an outhouse. Not a fucking outhouse. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. well thank you for calling in, Boomba. It's been big. Hey, anytime. Is there it's anyone jacking off to us right now? That's not what I wanted. Fuck. Thanks, man. Oh, goddamn. All right. Well, he's gone. <laughs>